And always wear clean underwear. Are you wear underwear? I never really got nice. into that. Real nice. Real nice. I love that. That's what I'm saying. It's an even trade. Um, okay, so a couple of questions actually. Number one, I noticed that back here, you take it up all the way to that cowlick. I do take it a bit, a bit high, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. now there's nothing wrong with it. I'm asking, is that what you want, or do you want to try more of a classic? Gentleman? I would try to do more of like the classic. I think I do that because that cowlick, it's hard for me to look in the back of a mirror and try and cut it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I just kind of trim it down because okay. I, it's hard for me to fade that. Because to be quite honest, the way the length that it is right now, it should be sticking up, and it just uh, you have you know like wavyish hair. So I mean, everything's laying down nicely right now. What I'm thinking of more because you have it here and then it actually comes up. Mm -hmm. So normally I would go across and do a nice drop back because you do have a nice round head, you know, okay. central bone. So to do more of like a, you know, kind of a classic gentleman's cut, uh, start with a zero, you said about mid height, mm -hmm. that you like that, um, and uh, take it down all the way with the trimmer. Take it, what do you mean? Like with the, the sides? Like, I mean, like zero out the sides, yeah, is that what you're saying? Like with the, yeah, yeah. With that, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yep. And then uh, how much off the top do you want to lose? Uh, I don't see it as too, too long, but you tell me what you think. Really on the top, <laughs> it's probably going to be more of just like evening out the length and then cutting the style, but probably, okay. I don't know. like. And you part it this way? Yeah, generally it's, gonna, it's generally going to kind of come and fall over that way. Okay, that's why you do that. Okay, so because I noticed that you're, you have kind of like a, your hair is very direction on this, and I can't really call it a collar. So it lays over here, but your actual natural direction is actually this way. Just so you know. But yeah. if you were to do that, your hair is gonna like, you know, it's gonna do some funny stuff in the front. So yeah. this will work, but your hair is laying down nicely. So, um, and then we put a hard part in here. Do you still want that? Yeah, I think okay. that was a clean. All right, fantastic, man. Sounds good. Let's go. What do you do here? So I own uh, Sub-Zero, which is a cold plunge company. A what? Cold plunge. Oh, you see, okay. Like, these yeah, psychos yeah, yeah. jump in like oh, ice cold yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So nice. I run that, and then I coach. I coach sales as well. Okay. Helps. It helps to extend with business. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, man. How's business is this? Been good. Dude, right, right now it's so hot. It's probably the best thing that could possibly ever yeah. happen. For, so I've been busy as all get out every single day. I actually just just sold out of my current inventory today. So uh -huh. right before this, I was dropping some stuff off for shipping, which is perfect. But now I'm like, oh man, my shipping's not in for two weeks. So I'm like, oh, well, yeah. you know, it's okay. But it's really just this weather. It was, it's funny, it's like HVAC owners and, uh, and people with cold plunges are, have been yeah. the busiest this last week. It's 105 degrees out every day. So taking it old school, like old Chicago ice companies. <laughs> right. Yeah, man, I remember when that um, first time I heard about that stuff, that was, uh, you know, obviously Rogan was talking a lot of about course. it. And, and then that, uh, what's that, Wim, Wim Hof? Wim Hof, yeah, oh, he's, he's, that's Christ. the OG right there. I don't know. I mean, yeah, he's crazy, of course. I I mean, but I guess what he got into it, and for a lot of people too, is like, you know, you start for like injuries, but I found more about like cognitive benefits. More what now? Cognitive, like okay, mental, yeah, mental yeah, clarity. Is that right? Yeah. And so I guess he got into it because his uh, his wife committed suicide, right? And he was super depressed, and he started. Oh, he was out in the middle of nowhere, right? And with a with a bomb and frozen, he jumped in and felt better. You know, the only time he felt good for a long time. Yeah. And so he was kind of like the pioneer in that. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, that that's what I find to be the most beneficial now that I don't have these chronic injuries that I deal with. Okay. It's really just that it's a huge, you know, boost in dopamine, and you, you feel alert, better than a cup of coffee. You know, you feel happy, so it's great for people with you know depression and anxiety and mood disorders, or just a shitty day. You know, be better than that, a thirty-seven degree cup of coffee. I bet. <laughs> it's a thirty-seven. Yeah. Suck it, gentlemen. Yeah. Suck it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Oh. Right. So all the Conor McGregor jokes are. Close to home. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was like running. 
No. Yeah, running towards a motherfucker. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah, it seems cool. And then you realize well, if, you yeah. sp- if you if you spend 10 years in the cage just trying to, you know, mm-hmm. hurt somebody else, you tend to get hurt along the, along the way. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that how you got your injury? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, look at you now, sitting on top of the world with billions, right? That's right, here Talk we are. Elon Musk. We got this. All right. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, I'm just, I'm just okay. looking at my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just looking. I'm good, bro. Just looking at my face, bro. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure I'm still here. Yeah, right? Look at this over here, dude. So, one of the things with these, with the hard parts, is sometimes that could be a bit trouble. Right there. See how the hair comes this way, and your line's supposed to go across that way. You see what I mean? And so, you have to go and, uh, you gotta be careful when, you know, on these right here, when the hairline does that. Because if you cut into it, it cuts into the... It, it, yeah, it'll, because of the angle that the hairline goes and you're trying to go straight, it'll leave some longer hairs as, you know, it curves out, you know what I mean? So We're just going to put the line down the middle, like the old barbers back in the day. <laughs> See what happens. See what happens. Okay. <laughs> Besides me getting Fair my enough. ass kicked in. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I mean, we'll see. Okay. Bobby, how will this, uh, the haircut be maybe a little different from what it's used to? Because it's cutting his own hair out, right? Mm hmm. He hasn't had a haircut professionally mm-hmm. in 20 years. Mm hmm. How's it going to be a little bit different? Set it up for him so he understands a bit. Um, well, basically, what it comes down to is just um, the height, obviously, where basically the darkness in his hair was in here and then it came to the center now it's going to be down here as to get more of as opposed to super round kind of a shape we're going for more straight here and then it just kind of caves in there um as they say that's uh, a, more of a square cut haircut by i guess barber standards is more of a masculine kind of cut so. But uh, yeah, so basically the fade doesn't doesn't go past in here, you mm. know, in these areas. It shoots off here because when you do this, dude, like you had mentioned earlier, it actually accentuates the wideness yeah, of this. That makes sense. So if you pick this up and bring it out, square that off. It's kind of the same idea when they tell people with a round face not to get round glasses because that you know it's all it's there's a lot of visual magic happening there. So just keep that in mind. I mean, if, uh, you know, because you, I'll be honest with you, you don't do a terrible job at your hair, but like you said, what was it, 20 years, brother? Yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah. So what it is, is you just want to rock off of this and just kind of that, here, let me show you, that kind of trajectory where, if you look at my comb, Mm -hmm. straight ahead, you see where it takes off there and you start coming in? That's where you kind of want to start fading in that area. Does that make sense now? Yeah, yeah no, because that. I mean, a lot of times you and there's nothing wrong with taking it higher, but if you want, um, have you ever done that before? Well, well so or? sometimes I try, right? So half the time that the fade goes higher is because I what I usually do, which is different for different you, is I'll I'll just do a line, right? Because I'm cutting it myself, so I need a reference point. So I'll just go straight around with the zero cut the line a little bit lower, mm-hmm. shave off the sides, and then take go from the line to fade up. Gotcha. So that just keeps it, yeah, that yeah, keeps yeah. it mm-hmm. symmetrical-ish around. But as I'm going and, and, and blending that line into the hair, I just kind of always bring the fade up a little higher, a gotcha. little higher, a little higher, yeah, and then yeah. <laughs> a little higher. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm like, all right. There's been a couple times I do yeah. that. I'm like, I guess I'm just shaving my head today. 
<laughs> you're doing the right. I've been there. You're doing, you start on the right side and then you're over here like. Oh, I've leopard. done that. Or the the I've been trying to shave the backside and you pull it back and the and the guard falls off and you you cream and I go. Mm. Oh man. Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess all right. I guess I'm just shit. Do you want to be going? You know, 2008 Britney Spears over here. Nice. Just shave it off. End up loosening up, clearing up, and um, that's where a lot of the odor is coming from and all that. But. Um, I say, me personally, I mean, like I said, like you said, you know, it varies um, every other day. Okay. At least for me, that's what I do. I think it's a combination of weather and then also like the mm -hmm. texture of your hair. Mm -hmm. you look, it looks like you have like a fine textured hair. Mm -hmm. So I, I probably would go every two to three days. Yeah. Let those mm -hmm. oils rebuild. But you can mm -hmm. consider co-washing as well, which is what Bobby was saying, which is you wash daily with a conditioner. Mm -hmm. And then, like every like maybe two times a week, you get in there with a deeper wash and shampoo. Yeah, it's it's so crazy. Like I feel like people don't know that shit. Like yeah. if I were to ask people like how often they wash their hair, they'd be like like every day. You know, like it just seems it seems so basic. But well, I think that's how we were. At least that's what I was. Like, yeah. Every time you're in the shower, you wash it. And always wear clean underwear. Are you wear underwear? I never really nice. got into that. Real nice. Real nice. I love that. I read about it. I was like, why is that so scary? And it's like, because people are not supposed to be activity. So in movies, when they put people on the ceiling, it's terrifying. I like this song. It's like that, uh, like when Rocky's like training for the main fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> So brother, all right, so talk to me, like, um, as far as the beard, um, usually people either want like a solid beard, like all like one size, or do you want to tighten it up and then fade it forward? I like the fades. That, yeah, that okay. Looks, that, that, that actually has a, a very much, just like in here with this, when these yeah. build out, that has a slimming effect as well. Yeah. So just, okay. I do. I, I do look a little bit fat faced because it's. I, mm -hmm. I didn't. I haven't trimmed it. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. I do like a little bit of a fade down. Okay. So uh, one of the questions with the mustache. Um, is do you feel it's too bulky like does it feel like it really like you know because, uh i would take it out a little bit okay because one where i could see it definitely is is right in the corner yeah. it's just like on mine it'll do that same yeah. thing so we can lighten it we'll take more bulk off of those corners and that way this lighter stuff can all balance out okay. nicely does that work for you yeah cool So you see over here, you see how there's some like four or five little hairs there? Are you okay if I take those off right there, brother? Sure. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. So you see how heavy it gets right here? I'm gonna connect that line to that. And that makes it just, it outlines everything even from the inside of that thin part right there. Uh, so they, you might have ever moved your eyebrows and uh, <laughs> You know how you fine tune these these lines on these beers, Sly? You go like this. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Show Tim so he knows. I'm like this, Tim. Look at him and look. That works. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Temple Smoky Gelidio Oil is a pre shaved bone. Uh, we're going to put it on them and uh, glide our way to victory. That's not gonna be a bumper sticker handy, Captain Jameson. <laughs> now 
not too hot. Mm. All right, brother. Don't let all that soften up. Let's relax. Ta -da. No. Isn't that disgusting? That's a clean towel, right? Notice how the guy holding a camera answered that, not me. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, sir. I respect you. <laughs> and we're going to be uh, using uh, for the finish the utility bump, uh, old money. Made by Beard Brand, coincidentally. Moisturizing soothes the skin uh, as well after, kind of like you can, you can use the pre-shave oil because uh, it's also a post-shave oil, but the same thing here. Moisturizes the beard, adds a little more oomph to it, if you will. Get a little bit of this action. Bang! I'm rich. Had a great time. It was awesome. Temple Smoke Style and Paste. No, not usually. I usually just kind of like, I usually start when it's a little bit like wet after a shower, you know? So you see that more of a classic, like yeah. I said, it comes down and it actually hugs right at the occipital bone where it starts to shoot out this mm -hmm. way, the trajectory. This gives it, you know, and now you can see how you're starting to fill out a little bit in this area and that's what you want to do just yeah. to keep everything minimized. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Cool, man. Thanks for being patient, brother. Absolutely. Worth it. Good, good, good. Wait.